Well, three more shootings have been confirmed in Columbia since we last spoke to you here last night. Now, since Monday, Columbia has seen about seven shootings. We first created this map for you last night. Since then, we've added three blue dots after the Columbia Police Department confirmed shootings along Bellevue Drive, Sanford Avenue, and Rice Road. No injuries were reported from those shootings, but there were reports of property damage there on Rice Road and on Sanford Avenue. That's also the case at Tuesday's shooting outside Popeye's on Business Loop. Now, we do also have those two red dots on the map. Those indicate deadly shootings. One is for Monday's shooting at the Walmart on Conley Road and yesterday's shooting in North Columbia on Doris Drive. We now know 34-year-old Columbia resident Royale Hunt was killed after he was shot on Doris Drive yesterday. Another man was taken to the hospital with gunshot wounds, but his condition has stabilized tonight. Nobody has been arrested in any of yesterday's shootings, but police are looking for 20-year-old Anthony Warren Jr. He's accused of shooting at a car multiple times on Volunteer Drive. Well, our ABC 17's Nia Hinson spoke with Columbia Mayor Barbara Buffalo today about Columbia's recent gun violence. Nia, you asked her when the city might see that Office for Violence Prevention that she suggested. Hey, and Lucas, I asked Buffalo if these recent shootings have created more of an urgency for her to get this office up and running in the city. She tells me it's important to work on uh, preventing violence any time of the year, even during slow times. She says the city is actively working to bring the office here, but says the biggest thing is time. Seven shootings in Columbia in three days, five of which happened just yesterday. Obviously, any of those calls that I received from the city manager are... Um, really devastating to me. I don't want to see them. I sat down with Mayor Barbara Buffalo to learn where the city stands on working to prevent violence after she brought up the idea for an office for violence prevention five months ago. And I know it will take time, right? This is not the sort of thing that you create overnight, but it's a way for us to invest in those community groups that are already in that space and partner with them. Buffalo tells me she thinks it takes more than just the police department to prevent violence and says she sees the office as an opportunity for the community to come together and talk about specific areas or groups that need to be focused on. A big help for the city is looking into other cities that have similar programs. At the same time, we know that we'll have our own unique challenges, so it's how to learn from them and take it back. Monday and Wednesday's shootings left two men dead and another hurt, one in a neighborhood and the other at a local Walmart. The others left a local Popeyes with a bullet hole Cars with damage and no one in custody in six of the seven shootings, all of which left neighbors and people nearby shaken up. What would be your message for people who kind of believe that Columbia might not be safe anymore? Usually, from my discussions with the police department, it's usually a targeted incident that is happening, right? These are not normally random uh, incidents that are happening. So I think for most of our law-abiding citizens in Columbia, you know, they're safe in their community while they're going about their day-to-day -day lives. Buffalo tells me the city has the money for the office right now, and she believes the next steps will be figuring out the staffing. She says that will likely be talked about in the next fiscal year budget. Reporting live in Columbia, Nia Henson, ABC 17 News. Nia, thank you. The city says there is no set date for when the program will come to Columbia.